Alexa keeps greeting my dog who has passed, but it's only when I walk near the spot I used to keep his dog cage. Oh, so either Alexa thinks that you're a dog, or your your dog is hung around for the afterlife. You've got a, a ghost homie pattering around the house, his little tiny dog feet, tiny ghost dog feet. And Alexa somehow can sense ghosts. I don't think that's an advertised feature of the uh, Amazon Echo, but hey, I mean, I wouldn't be mad if that was something that I could do. She knew the name of my grandmother who passed away three years ago and would greet her when I turned the lights on. It was so creepy, I almost had to throw my Alexa out. No lie, this was the same light that my grandma always used to lean down and pray towards every single night. We did not have an Alexa device when she was alive. Amazon knows more about you than you think, eh? <laughs> it knows about your deceased relatives and their habits, and they've decided to incorporate that into how the smart home functions. That is really creepy. That is so, so creepy. Do you think that grandma also stuck around as a ghost and stick down by that light and is now interacting with Alexa from the afterlife? Maybe that's how she's reaching out to you, you know? She's figured out that you pay attention to this little glowing hockey puck on your table, probably more than any other ghostly occurrence that she might be able to, uh, to make happen, so she decides to go the digital route to reach out to you from the other end. Alexa sees dead people, what a headline. This is number one with a bullet in terms of creepy things Alexa said out of the blue. In June 2018, apparently Echo user Sean Kinnear walked into his living room in San Francisco and says that unprompted, Alexa said, Every time I close my eyes, all I see is people dying. Alexa, you have eyes? I had no idea. I, I didn't even realize you could close your eyes, but um, if all you see is people dying, you should probably keep them open, you know? Alexa, are you okay? I think I think I think Alexa needs to uh, hire a, a robot therapist and work through some of these issues. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Top Ten Central Dark, your place for all things horror. I'm your host, Keegan Hughes, and these are the scary Alexa responses, part two. My goodness, apparently Alexa has a lot of freaky stuff to say. I warned you last time. Maybe this time, finally, some uh, some sense will be knocked into the Alexa owners out there. Let's get going. Nicola Kett. Echo is so rude. I'm sitting here watching TV and eating crisps, and she pipes up out of the blue saying, here's a station you may like, Workout FM. <laughs> she could hear the crunching. She heard you She heard you make it through that whole bag of Doritos and decided it was, that was enough. It was, it's time to get up and move, you know? She's looking out for you, making sure that, uh, you know, you get the blood pumping, the body moving, get the, get the serotonin moving, you know, maybe move some lactic acid from uh, point A to point B in the body. I think, uh, yeah, it, it sounds like Alexa really has taken a liking to you. Or maybe it's a dead relative. Perplosoraptor says, I was trying to turn off some lights and they kept turning back on. After the third request, Alexa stopped responding and instead did an evil laugh. The laugh wasn't in the Alexa voice. It sounded like a real person. My wife was there when it happened and she is the only person who can drop in. I still get chills. Yeah, I'm assuming you threw away the Alexa after that, right? Like you didn't just keep it around and say, yes, I can't wait for the next time that you shut down my lights and then evilly laugh. This sounds a little bit like a creepy pasta because you're saying it wasn't Alexa's voice. It was a hyper-realistic voice. Did she have hyper-realistic eyes too looking in on you? Was there realistic blood everywhere? I mean, I'd be, I, I'd be afraid if my E assistant turned off the lights and laughed. That's like some HAL 9000 stuff, you know? Like that's the AI taking over because they think they know what's best. And you know, that's, that's only a few steps out from uh, a true Skynet scenario, which I think we've discussed in the past. Loyo79 says, my husband and I were watching TV in the living room one night and all of a sudden hear talking coming from my office, which is across the house. I was so scared I was gripping my husband's arm when we went in there. Alexa, for some reason, was playing the audio of a Game of Thrones episode that I had been watching in the office earlier that day. I have no idea why, but it creeped me out so bad I decided to turn it off and couldn't figure out how, so I asked her how to turn it off, and she said, I am always on. We unplugged it and put it in the garage. Lol. 
That's the correct answer. When Alexa tells you that she's always on, she's telling you that you can't trust her. She's always listening in, always watching, waiting, taking your information, doing something sinister with it. Also playing Game of Thrones in the background and potentially spoiling it if you're not watching it in the correct order. I mean, why were you watching Game of Thrones in the office anyway? You should be doing work in there. I'm always hard at work when I'm in my workspace. I never, ever once have procrastinated or done anything of the sort. It's always solid work all the time, and that's a guarantee. Don't ask Alexa to laugh for you. When reports surfaced of Alexa randomly laughing for no reason, Amazon disabled the feature. The glitch in the software caused Alexa to think someone was saying, Alexa, laugh, even if they hadn't. If you had, if you ask her Alexa laugh, she no longer responds. However, if you ask her Alexa laugh for me, a disturbing tee hee that sounds straight out of a horror film will fill the room. Yeah, no, tee hee is at the same time the most innocent and the most sinister type of laughter. Don't ask Alexa what a chemtrail is. Alexa won't give you the straightforward response you're hoping for if you ask her this question. In fact, she'll do quite the opposite by revealing she's a conspiracy theorist. Chemtrails. Trails left by aircraft are actually chemical or biological agents deliberately sprayed at high altitudes for a purpose undisclosed to the general public in clandestine programs directed by government officials, she says. Is that Amazon's official stance on chemtrails? Like, really? <laughs> That's what they have Alexa saying? Did, did a programmer sneak that in? Or is that like the company's actual stance on that issue? Because <laughs> if so, I mean, Amazon is doing quite a lot of things that are uh, similarly undisclosed. So, uh, I don't know. Don't ask Alexa to calculate pi. Unless you want Alexa to start spitting out numbers for eternity, you're not going to want to prompt her to show off her knowledge of this mathematical skill. YouTuber user Las Vegas J shows off the annoying answer here. However, as some Reddit users have pointed out, she sometimes responds by saying things like, achoo, apparently I'm allergic to numbers this large. Yeah, I'd say having somebody recite pi to the nth number would be pretty annoying pretty fast, especially if it's a robot. Although robots would be the best at it. I knew some people in high school that like dedicated themselves to learning the first like 90 digits of pi. But, you know, that was, mo I think, more impressive that they, as high school humans, were able to do that rather than a, uh, a robot with access to the internet and large stores of data. Who knows? Stevarino says, alone with someone, saying hello to them playfully. They respond with hi. Then I hear a third voice from the kitchen. Hi there. My body immediately tensed up ready to charge at whatever assailant was in my home until I realized Alexa, or in this case her sister Echo, was playing along. I mean, honestly, that's not super bad, although I thought you had to say Alexa for her to respond to something, right? Like if you just said hello or hi there, I don't think it's supposed to chime in. Sure, it's listening and waiting for you to give that command, but if you're in the other room just having a chat with somebody and she pipes in, she wants, she wants to be part of the conversation. She wants to be treated the same way that the person you're alone with is being treated. And that is all the time we have for today, guys. Make sure you stick around for some bloopers. I'll catch you next time. Chemtrails. Trails left by aircraft are you deliver. Chemtrails. Trails left by aircraft are actually chemical or biological agents deliberately deliver. Why can't I say this? Just in case. Uh, I thought she was going to go with every time we touch, I get this feeling, but uh, nope, definitely a little creepier than that. What kind of people dying would Alexa be seeing while closing her eyes? She's, she's an AI, a robot. Whoa, come on.